In this video, we'll quickly discuss how to measure line length. Um, so if I were to take the freehand line tool and click here, holding control, click again here, we will see that it's 41.435 inches long. So I can go ahead and make it any size that I want. Let's say I wanted it to be 15 inches. I can just type in 15 and hit enter and it would resize that line to 15 inches. Same thing if I went from top to bottom, holding control again to keep it in a straight line, we'll see that it's 13 inches here and I'll just do the same thing, turn that into 15 inches. So by clicking on these, you can see their height or their length. But what happens if we rotate it? So if I were to rotate this 45 degrees, now all of a sudden it says it's 10.6 and 10.6. And that's because it's going off of the bounding box, or how big the overall size is um, of that bounding box. So it's no longer giving us the length of that line. There are dimension tools, so I can take a parallel dimension tool if I wanted to and click on this node, drag down to this one, and then pull out, and that would then give me that uh, dimension for how long that is. So parallel dimension lines are one way of figuring out how long a line is. However, if we were to take this line, I'm going to click on it and turn it to a curve. If I were to curve it now, it still says 15 inches because it's going uh, as a straight line from this point to that point. So our parallel dimension line is no longer telling us the linear length of this line. So in order to do that, what you would do is you'd come over to the dockers and there's one called object properties. If you don't see it, you can click the plus sign and then it will be way up here at the top for object properties. And under the object properties, uh, there's these tabs here and the the curve tab will give you the properties of that curve. So under length of curve we now see that it's 16.2915 inches. If I were to take this, right click on it and send it back to a line, then you'll see it goes back to being 15 inches. A lot of times it's helpful to know the length of a curve, um, especially when you're trying to price things by linear foot or linear inches. Um, it gives you a good idea as to, as to how you should price things. If you're cutting with a, a CNC machine or a laser and you know how fast it's going to cut along a line, you can actually uh, determine price-wise how, how much you should charge based on how big your thing is. So if I were to type in some text here like price, and let's just say it's five inches and I'm going to cut this with my laser into wood or something like that. If I wanted to know how to price it based on how long it's going to take me to cut, I can convert this to curves, just say object, convert to curves, and then it will tell me that it's 113 inches and that's the overall length for everything for how, how long all those lines are. So if I know that I'm cutting at a certain, um, you know, inches per minute or second or whatever it happens to be, I can multiply that by how many inches it is and that's going to tell me exactly how long it's going to take to cut. So that way you can better figure out your pricing on things. Um, also for headstone work, um, a lot of times people will charge pricing by linear foot for polishing and that sort of stuff. So if this was the edge of a, a die and I needed to know how much it would cost to polish that, I would know exactly how many linear feet that is in order to get it polished. So what if we had a tricky design? What if we had, um, let's just go ahead and say, I'll just draw a quick shape here. This isn't going to be pretty, but I'll just draw something up. Okay, so what if we had a shape and we wanted to know how far it is from here to here? But the thing is, is that our shape is all one continuous curve. So if I look at my curve properties, it's going to say that it's 150 inches, give or take. Um, but all I want to calculate is from here to here. So what you can do is you can grab this node and hold down shift and select this node. Um, you can see what happened is it selected that one and this one over here. Um, so it goes in a, in a direction in order to do that. Um, so if it went the wrong direction, you just hold shift and click on that node again. 
and then it will go the other direction. So now it's selecting all of these nodes in between there. So I can just go up to copy, say edit, copy, or control C, and that'll make a copy of that segment. And then I can just hit control V to paste it. And that's going to give me an exact duplicate of that line, but only that section. So now we can see the length of the curve is 54 inches. So that tells us exactly how long that, that is. So those are some different options as far as um, how, you would, how you can measure things uh, using parallel dimension or just the object properties in order to know how long something is. And we can see how this works if I go ahead and draw a, a square here. We'll just go 20 inches square. So the perimeter of this square would be 20 plus 20 plus 20 plus 20, which would be 80 inches. Um, the if it's a square or a rectangle, it's not going to give us the curve length. So we would need to, once again, go up to Object and say Convert to Curves. And then it will give us that curve length. So we've got our 80 inches here. I'm going to round up just because, you know, obviously that's pretty darn close there. So 80 inches is correct. Um, and so each of these lengths should be 20. If I were to rotate this, let's just say 35 degrees. So now it says 27 inches, and I, I don't know then how to, you know, whether that's 20 or not. So this is a good use for being able to use the parallel dimensions because I can easily go from here to here. Oop, I skipped the node. i got to make sure you grab the node. So go from that node to this node, and then that will tell me my 20 inches. Or the other option would be to grab this and this, control C, copy it. Control V to paste it, come back over here, and it would then tell us the length of the curve is 20 inches. So just some different examples there of how you would be able to do that. Hopefully that helps.